Hey everybody, welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in Blender. My name is Mike and today I am going to show you how to uh, create um, emissive buttons on objects, right? Let's say you're creating a sci-fi panel and you want buttons to light up when they're pushed in and that kind of thing, right? So it's uh, actually quite easy to do and it's a lot of fun. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click our first objects. Uh, my scene is basically a backdrop and then we got a base with a button on top and we've got three of them, right? So I'm gonna start by clicking on the top one right here. And before we do anything else, let's go to render settings and make sure we're set to cycles. Uh, if you wanna use emissive properties, uh, it's best to use cycles, otherwise you might run into issues, right? So cycle selected, we got our first button selected. And what we're gonna do is go and add a new material, click on new. And then under surface, instead of the principal or default material, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go up to emission. Now, not a lot going on, you would think, right? But if you go to uh, viewport shading right here, you'll see that a, a material has been created and it is actually emitting light. And if I go in here and I increase that strength, the higher that number, you see that it's creating quite a bit of light and it's uh, bouncing on all of its surroundings, right? Now let's not go that crazy. Let's go to, let's say, I don't know, five or so. And what we're gonna do to make, it, uh, to make the effect a bit more is we're gonna try to make the floor a bit reflective so we can see it all over the place, right? So let's click on the floor, click on a new material, and in this case, we're gonna leave it at base material, but we're gonna decrease the roughness and we're gonna increase the metallic properties. And the more you increase that, the more reflection you get. You don't have to go all the way on that. If you want to leave some roughness, you could do something like this. That looks quite cool, I think, on this guy. So you can go in here and you can create red, all right? Now, uh, we got two more buttons, so let's see if we can mix and match. We're gonna take this one, we're gonna go to new, and we're gonna go and do a new uh, emission, uh, emission, yeah. We're gonna leave that one white. Let's do four on that one, and then we'll do it one more time. New material, go in here, emission, click on it. Let's do blue, red, white, and blue, why not? and then go in here and set that to four. Now, that's one thing you can do with it, uh, quite a lot of fun. The other thing is to use the exact same uh, setup, but as a light source. So let's get rid of these materials, all right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go uh, back to this view, and I'm gonna create a simple plane. So add mesh and plane, there you go. Let's go back to this view, okay? I'm gonna push that up. I'm gonna scale that out like so. And I'm gonna rotate a little bit. And I'm gonna turn this into my light source. And keep in mind, this is a simple plane, right? So I have it selected and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go once again to my material tab, click on new. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna click on emission like this. And then we're gonna give it some strength, let's say two. And we're gonna go back to our viewport shading. And now you can clearly see we have a light source. Now, let's say you want multiple and you want them not to be the same strength everywhere, right? You can do that. You can uh, bring this up, you can scale it out like this. You can rotate it a bit if you want. And let's say I want a light source there as well. I can again go to new, go to mission, and I can even go in here if I want and change the color of the light, right? And as I do that, you see it affects your scene. So yeah, it's a very powerful little tool and that you can use it for tons and tons of things. So let me know in the comments what you are gonna be using it for, right? Well, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.